I have a very exciting package in my hand today. This is gonna be an unboxing video. I'm gonna be showing you my new Suzanne bag. So let me tell you the story of why I bought this and a little bit of the backstory on my reasoning for it. This bag has been on my radar for a couple of months now. I've been really loving this burgundy color from Cezanne. I love the Claude bag that they brought out in this same shade. However, I already have two Claude bags, one in the burgundy croc and one in the rosewood. So I didn't wanna add a third Claude bag. However, I don't have any bags from Cezanne in this particular style. This is the classic Milo bag. It's a bigger version of the mini Milo, which I do own, so I can compare the two side by side for you in this video. And I just knew that this was the one that was right for my collection. So let's unbox it together and see what's inside, see how it comes packaged and give you my first initial impressions on the bag, what I think, whether I'll be keeping it. And then I'll show you some mod shots of what it looks like on the length of the strap comparing it to my other Suzanne bags and how much fits inside. Okay, so opening this up, it comes in a really gorgeous green box this time. This is a stunning, beautiful box. It has the Suzanne branding on the front there and then let us open this up. I can't wait to see this bag. There she is. Look how gorgeous, even against the green of the box, this color looks. Okay, so here is the bag in all her glory. As I said, it's the classic Milo bag. They do the Milo bag in two different versions now. They had one that has been around for a couple of years. I think they call that the vintage Milo or the heritage Milo, something like that. It's definitely got a more vintage feel to it. It's got a slightly different clasp. It's got like a toggle clasp and a slightly different shape, but this is the classic Milo. This is very reminiscent of so many different bags on the market. You've got the Celine box bag, which is an iconic bag that's been around for a long time that looks very similar to this one. You've also got the bags from the curated, which I will compare this to. And then of course you've got this and there's loads of other brands that do a bag like this. I feel like this is kind of a classic essential bag style that most bag brands do. You've got the APC bag that looks very similar to this as well. And I know Sir Paris do one that is quite similar with a slightly different clasp. I went with the Cezanne just because, you know, I love the brand. I love to buy things from Cezanne. I think the whole experience of receiving something from Cezanne is very special. And I know that you guys would want a review of the Cezanne one the most. So I'm here to do that for you as well. Okay, so yeah, some close-ups of the bag. As you can see, it's a really glossy, I believe they do actually call it glossy burgundy. It is very shiny and very smooth. Um, it's actually, on first impressions, a lot shinier than my mini Milo bag, which I have in that honey, I can never remember the name of it. It reminds me of like honey mustard. It's like a warm orangey tone. That one is more matte and more flat, even though it is also a smooth leather, whereas this is a smooth leather, but it's super glossy, almost patent, which I absolutely love. You have the same jewel-like clasp that is on a lot of Cezanne's bags now. It's the same clasp that is on the Claude bag, the mini Milo bag, and some of their other designs. It's really beautiful. I love the light tone of gold. It is gold, but it is quite shiny, bright gold it's not too yellow toned. And then to get into the bag, you just press down on the clasp and lift the upper flap and there you go. So it's a black leather on the inside. It's really plain and simple. If I take all of this stuffing out, I'm definitely keeping this bag. Um, you can see it is a black, it's actually a black cloth on the inside of the actual opening. And then this upper flap is a black leather. You also have some compartments. You've got a back compartment, a main compartment, which has one zip at the front and then a slot. Sorry, one zip at the back and then a slot with two compartments at the front. And then you do also have a smaller slot in the very front, which could just about fit a phone. I love how minimal the branding is on all of Cezanne's bags. So this one, like many of them, just has the Cezanne, but it is under the flap. So when the bag is closed, you can't actually see any of the branding. So it's more of a, if you know, you know, kind of bag, which I personally love. There isn't any branding on the back either, but you do have this very thin slip pocket here, which is only really gonna fit receipts or paper or things like that. So that is kind of my first initial impressions of the bag. I'm really pleased with the color. It looks just like it does on the website. I would say the pictures on the website are very representative of its true color and it is just as glossy as you can see. It's catching the light so beautifully. I think it makes it look just even more expensive and luxurious. 
So I believe, I'm just looking at this for the first time, but I believe this bag has the same strap as my Claude bag and my Mini Milo. So the strap is adjustable. So the first way that you can wear it is obviously on the shoulder as kind of a shoulder bag. It isn't really like a 90s style. It isn't short enough, if you can see, to be super up into the armpit, which actually I prefer. I like this longer shoulder length style, but it is definitely appropriate to wear on one shoulder like this. And then you can adjust the strap. It has these buttons here, they're popper buttons, and you simply open them up up and you slide the strap down. You slide the strap like this and then you pop it into place at the longer length. I think that is the longest length that you can get, which is definitely quite long, um, but I imagine it is the same as my other Cezanne bags. So this sits crossbody really comfortably on me. It is definitely on my hip. I'm a very average height, so I feel like this is going to be a good length on most people, even if it's a little bit shorter or a little bit longer than um, on you. I feel like it is still really nice. It isn't one of those bags that is too long. I have a couple of crossbody bags that just are a little bit too long and they don't have adjustable straps. So I really appreciate the adjustable nature of this one. This comes in quite a few different colors. If you're not a fan of this glossy burgundy, I can't imagine why you wouldn't be because I think it's stunning but it does come in a classic black which you can't go wrong with and a few other shades as well I know there's like a neutral sandy taupey color one which I've seen on a few people and I really love that one as well if you're into a neutral bag but you want something that perhaps is going to lighten up outfits you wear a lot of black and you want something that's going to contrast with that nicely it also would look amazing paired with navy as would this I think this color looks so gorgeous with navy, with green, with pink like I'm wearing now and with blue denim shades as well. I just wanna keep getting up close to show you how beautiful it is so you can really see the true color of it. It is gonna look slightly different in different lights. In a brighter light like this, it's gonna look slightly lighter and slightly more raspberry toned. And then in the darker lights, if I step back, you can see it looks slightly more aubergine-esque and darker, uh, more of like an oxblood color. The bag is a really nice size. I will leave the measurements on screen so you can compare it to other bags you own. I will also show you it compared with some other bags in my collection. If I compare it to my Burgundy Croc Claude, which is also from Tazan, you can see the size difference and the slight color difference because obviously this one is a Croc design. It is slightly darker and it's more textured. So it does is it's gonna look slightly different um, and it doesn't catch the light. It's not quite as glossy, although this is more of a patent leather as well. So it is glossier than some of the other shades. But yeah, that's them compared side by side. So you can see that the classic Milo is quite a bit bigger. I would say it's one and a half times the size of the mini Milo or the Claude. So it is more of an everyday bag. If you carry it a little bit more with you, um, if you want something that you, know, you can comfortably fit, maybe a book in, um, even like a small umbrella, things like that, then this is probably gonna be the one to go for. I do use this one a lot. This fits a phone in it, it fits keys, a small wallet, those kind of things, but a bigger wallet, as I said, or like a, uh, a little makeup bag, um, things, if, you, if you're someone who likes to carry a few more essentials, then I think this is a more appropriate size. Personally, I love them both and I feel like they serve slightly different purposes. Um, so I definitely feel like there is room for both of them in my collection. But because I do have quite a few of the mini bags from Cezanne now, I've got the two Claudes and the mini Milo, I felt like there was a gap in my wardrobe for a Cezanne bag in a bigger size. I'm gonna round off this video by showing you some more mod shots of me styling it with some different outfits. Because of the color palette of lots of my clothes this season, this is to go with so many of the things I own. I'm loving this shade of pink, I'm loving burgundy, I'm loving brown tones, and I feel like that burgundy colour is just a match made in heaven with so much of my wardrobe. So I am really pleased with the purchase. Let me know what you think. If there are any questions that I haven't answered in this video that you would like to know about this bag, if you're considering making a purchase, then do leave them in the comments down below. I will be happy to answer any of your questions. Equally, if you have any other questions about the other Cezanne bags I own, the Claude, the Mini Milo, or the Classic Milo, then feel free to ask those as well. If you want to see this bag styled on a daily basis, it's gonna be in heavy rotation in my winter wardrobe. 
then make sure to go over and follow me on Instagram as that's where I share most of my daily outfits. If you would like to see my full in-depth review of the mini Milo and the Claude bag, then I made that video a few months ago. So I will leave it linked here on the screen. I will also leave another Cezanne video for you to watch and enjoy on screen here too. Otherwise, I will see you all very soon in my next video. Bye.